Always feeling like you're behind, exhausted, fatigued. You want to get a handle on your health and well-being as a woman. Well, my next guest, Dr. Anna, is a best-selling author of The Hormone Fix, Keto Green 16, and Menopause. Dr. Anna is a triple board certified fellow gynecologist and optician, integrated medicine and anti-aging regenerative medicine practitioner. She holds special certification in functional medicine, sexual health, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, and she lectures frequently on these topics throughout the world to large audiences nationally and internationally. The Girlfriend Doctor is a host of the Girlfriend Doctor show. She has personally developed natural products to help us women balance hormones, thrive through menopause, and including the acclaimed Jolvla. It's a cream for the vulva and the mighty maca, plus a super powerful superfood blend. She now lives in Dallas with her daughters, her horses, and her beloved dogs. Please welcome my guest, Dr. Anna. Welcome to Power Your Profits podcast your friendly guide in bringing your business revenue to the next level. Listen as host Dr. Susie Carter hears inspiring stories of success from her fellow entrepreneurs and transformational leaders. Prepare to make significant change to your strategies as they unravel the secrets of building multi-million dollar businesses and the most effective tips on finance, marketing, and sales accountability. If you want to take your first steps towards explosive business growth, this podcast is for you. Without further ado, here is your host, Dr. Susie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I think I've referred your book, your website to almost every student I meet. Like, oh my God, you need to know Dr. Anna. So tell everybody outside of your bio, like your genius, what what is your sprinkle fairy dust? What's your magic zone that you love, love, love doing? Uh, well, I really do love empowering women. I do love the empowering piece that women are feeling like the CEO or COO of their own body. I love to see that ownership happen, like as we take care of businesses, families, corporations, but yet somehow we fall to the wayside. It's regaining that empowerment piece. And so that for me is the magic. Right. I love it. And it's wrapped around products and books. And so tell everyone about your product line and where, where did it come from? Like why? There's so many products out there. And you went, I got to create my own because this stuff isn't doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So as I started, you know, it, it, when I was 39, I was diagnosed with early with infertility and I failed round after round after fertility treatments and then diagnosed with early menopause at 39 years old and was told the only opportunity I'd have to have a child, another child, would be egg donation. And for us, that wasn't a choice at the time. And it was heartbreaking because here I was, Emory University trained, you know, one of the best institutions in women's health in the world, and my doctor's bag was empty. And I took a sabbatical from my medical practice and I traveled around the world. And, um, and it really traveled as part of a healing journey. And just to keep the earth moving under my feet, you know, have you felt that where you just like need to need things to constantly change or evolve or, and, and I did. And as a result of that journey, I learned about medicinal foods and herbs and, and lifestyles that really spoke to me and incorporating them into my life naturally with the grace of God reversed early menopause and naturally conceived my daughter um, at age 41, the child I was told I would never be able to have. So as a result of that, I started bringing these medicinal foods and practices into my, into my own business, into my own medical practice. And it just grew from there, creating solutions that work with our body, not against it. So from my first product, which I created called Mighty Maca Plus, which is a combination of 30 superfoods that all helped me. And the combination of which is more powerful than any individual superfood by itself. And then from there, I created my product Jolva to help women with an over-the-counter solution to address the issues of vaginal dryness, incontinence issues, pelvic, the changes that happen to our pelvic floor and our sexual health as we age. So that's how I started in that. And I just started teaching more, always teaching my patients one-on-one, -on -one, but then creating the programs that support them. So from my magic menopause program to my sexual health program, to my breeze through menopause program, and then the books that I, I wrote in these areas to again, give people the tools 
that support them and to take away the myths and the really toxins, toxic disruptors to our body that create the imbalances to begin with. Well, I think what I love about hearing you talk about is because I think there's still so much stigma about menopause. Like I have to be old. I remember when my girlfriend said, you need hormone replacement. I'm like, I'm not old. I still have my period, right? She's like, it has nothing to do with what you're going through. I'm like, yes, it does. I can't. Like, I just couldn't even hear it because I'm like, I'm not old. <laughs> right, right. There's a stigma. And and it, menopause is natural and mandatory, but suffering is optional. <laughs> yes, I love it. So is that what had you close your business practice and start this? Because you did you ever go back after you went on sabbatical or no? So I'm currently back in clinical practice just two days a week here in Dallas, Texas, and I'll see patients two days a week, but I was out of practice for um, over five years and I had just honestly burnout. out. I was create, you know, working and creating my programs online and teaching. And again, this whole empower lifestyle changes is the hard, it's a lot easier to write a prescription than right. educate someone in lifestyle changes. <laughs> Right. So, so that's true. But at the time in um, my mid, you know, my late forties, I would, I'm 58 this year, but in my late forties, I was going through a second perimenopause, the hot flashes, the mood swings, the irritability, the insomnia, and literally sleeping three hours a night, single mom, raising three girls at home. And, um, and I was, I burn out and I, I made a decision, God and family first. And I, I ended up closing my medical practice and in order to do that. And then, you know, when your expenses stay the same, yet your income stops, it becomes really a financial crisis. Right. And yet there was that piece that, okay, I have to, I have to be, you know, I have to be sane. I have to take care of myself. The realization came, I had to take care of myself in order to take care of my family. And I didn't want to leave my patients hanging. So that's where I brought all my programs online. I wrote my book. I created Jolva, which is my anti-aging cream for the vulva. Mm -hmm. And from there, it created this online empire. Um, and I mean, tell you a story, Susie, that, you know, in, in 2017, I was like really on the, on the verge of, um, being broke. I was on the verge of bankruptcy. I was on the verge of being broke and, and then hurricane Irma hit. <laughs> so it was worse. I was in Southeast Georgia at the time. And it, you know, it was just like tragedy on tragedy. Yet I was committed to bringing this product Jolva to the market, to my patients. So that in those who couldn't get my prescriptions of my compounded creams and formulas and sexual health potions. So I told my patients, I'm going to create something over the counter that you don't need a prescription for that's even better than anything I could prescribe. So in that, in that development, just spending a lot of money, doing a lot of research, you know, a lot of R and D and creating a quality, high quality. And, um, I remember over that summer in 2017, I was Airbnb in my home. I mean, July 4th weekend, I was renting my home on St. Simon's Island and taking my girls camping. So they, you know, I'm like, Hey girls, we're just going to go camping for this weekend. And it was really, so I could pay the mortgage payments. Right. That's <laughs> from there to a multi-million dollar business and Jelva just took off. You're listening to another episode of Power Your Profits podcast. We'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Are you tired of pouring resources into strategies that don't work? Say hello to Dr. Susie Carter, your future fractional COO. With Dr. Susie in your corner, your business can skyrocket to seven figures and beyond. With a track record of creating thriving businesses, trust that you are in good hands. Head over to coo.poweryourprofits.com and let us put some magic into your business growth. Overwhelmed by the complexity of business profit strategies? Jump aboard the Bullet Train to Big Profits course, a streamlined solution by Dr. Susie Carter. This course is designed to uncomplicate the path to profitability. Imagine being able to identify and execute profit strategies with ease, skyrocketing your revenues. Visit course.poweryourprofits.com and sign up for the Bullet Train to Big Profits course today. I love that. That's such a great story, right? Because I think people go, oh, you know, it's like a hockey stick. Success is a hockey stick. And it's not. It's this. No, not for me. <laughs> 
you know, up there. Not for me either, girl. I feel your pain, right? <laughs> and it so, just made me stronger, true. You know, and it made me stronger. It made me realize that, like, I, the only limitations I have are the ones I create for myself. And it, you know, during the, then the of course, with the pandemic, there was a lot of concern around the time of the pandemic. But yet I just, I just kept showing up. And I think sometimes it's just about just showing up and move to Dallas, Texas. So my daughter could roadie, you know, compete at the highest competitive level for rodeo barrel racing. And so now I, I haul horses on the weekend and, you know, it's really, it's it, like to know that I'm doing that in my mid to late fifties that, you know, I would never would have dreamed it. And I'm glad I have the capacity to do it. Right. And the support all around you with, you know, both practices, you know, your company, your training and development company and prescriptions. And that's delicious. If you look at what, what's been the biggest learning lesson in growing both brands, right? You as the girlfriend's doctor, and then you as this online business and your, and your programs. I think one is a heart of serving. For me, it's a heart of, it was really a heart of serving. How can I help people not continue to struggle down our standard American medical, you know, in our standard American medical system? It doesn't really serve women, it doesn't serve men either. You know, it is a disease focused band aid type of medical system. Right. And so it, I, I recognize that number one, I had to get healthy. I had to focus on my health, mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, all of those really critical um, pieces, and then show other people how to do the same thing. And so what would you say were the three biggest hacks that, or the three things that you did, they don't have to be hacks to really get that? from a personal level for the health mm -hmm. on the health field yeah. it's definitely developing the what i call the now i call it the keto green lifestyle so working with our physiology as our hormones change and from 35 to 55 as our hormones are going the second biggest fluctuation of our lives since puberty so now we're in this other hormonal fluctuation and we need to do things differently we need to not follow the standard American diet, not follow the standard American lifestyle. And we really need to follow and honor our physiology. So when we're in this perimenopausal time period, our body's ability to use glucose as fuel starts to decline. And, um, and that's where cravings come in, brain fog comes in, insomnia, all of this and muscle wasting, all of this is related to this basically you know, I consider it to like a suffocation within our body's physiology, but shifting to using ketones for fuel periodically is not hormone dependent. We're using glucose for fuel is hormone dependent. So shifting into states of ketosis created such brain clarity. And I did it not through a standard keto way, it's, I call it keto green, but using medicinal foods like our cruciferous vegetables to support estrogen detoxification, the anti-inflammatory foods like turmeric and garlic and onions and artichokes and broccoli sprouts and beet greens. So good alkalinizers and, and minerals to make sure that we're getting those in our diet or supplements, as well as healthy fats and proteins. So many women have been using like a salad with maybe a, a small amount of protein on it. And that's our chicken salad for lunch every day. And that's definitely usually not enough protein. And oftentimes that salads with a sugary salad dressing and or, you know, fruits and um, for example, raisins and uh, other, you know, other foods that are um, higher, higher in carbohydrates that can affect us. So that's one thing. The second thing, it was mm -hmm. really a, a focusing on, um, on sleep, on, on really trying to hack my sleep. When I, for myself and part of my story was PTSD and in cases of post-traumatic stress disorder or, his, or trauma or chronic everyday stress, sleep is very depleted because of our dropping progesterone levels combine combine that with the hormone cha changes in midlife and it really is the perfect storm so focusing on natural ways to increase sleep and deep restorative sleep has been a big big hack for me and my 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 patients 
And right. the third thing is really optimizing bioidentical hormones to support our health naturally. So using bioidentical, not synthetic, and do, using it in physiologic levels and um, understanding the right and wrong ways that we can do that. And what's the right and wrong ways? So the wrong ways would be synthetic hormones. Mm -hmm. So using synthetic progestins, for instance, that have are known to increase risk of breast cancer, that are known to cause cardiovascular disease, and to use bioidentical choices. And typically in the perimenopause, menopause, like I say I do hormone replenishment, not hormone replacement. So what I mean is I want to support my body's natural production of hormones, because truth is our blue zones, the areas in the world that have the highest number of people living over 100, those women are not on hormone therapy. They've never been on hormone therapy. So like creating a body that makes enough hormones and um, eliminates them safely is really key. So understanding from world, you know, my studies and, and travels around the world and studying other cultures through menopause and beyond, you know, those characteristics that really support your health. So there's that piece and then using the bioidentical hormones. So for example, first I use adaptogens and a detoxification program um, in my books like The Hormone Fix or Keto Green 16, following those programs and detoxifying. So supporting our liver detoxification, we are exposed to so many chemicals. And these are hormone disruptors and adversely affect our body's natural hormone production. So we wanna cleanse our receptor sites, cleanse our liver, de decrease the toxic burden within our system and support our adrenal glands with lifestyle and adaptogens and nutrition. So I use a lot of adaptogens. Part of my, one of my products is Mighty Maca Plus and it supports your body's natural production of DHEA and progesterone and detoxifies the liver. So it's a combination of superfoods that work together to do that. And so as supporting your adrenals and other vitamins and supplements, but again, that sleep focus is really huge um, to get your body to make as much of its own hormones as it can for the length of time. And, and I see this over and over again. I have a 52 year old patient whose last period was um, two years ago and she started following my program and plan and her periods have started back. And now that's a good thing. The longer we have healthy ovarian function, the you know higher quality of life, longevity and health span we have. So of course, as a gynecologist, I'm doing an ultrasound and examination, a pap smear, all of those good things to re rule out anything abnormal, nothing abnormal. So her ovaries kick back into gear. That's hormone replenishment. Right. Well, you have something called, talk about your keto green challenge, because I think that's like, you're talking a lot. And then I look at the simplify it, right? Because you take right. the the challenge of trying to figure out what you're saying and putting in layman's terms. So talk about that challenge and how does it work and the biggest benefits that you're seeing from your clients. Yeah. So the keto green 16 challenge, I created a 16 day program that incorporates these lifestyle changes, you know, 16 days of medicinal menus that are therapeutic. So for example, like smoked salmon with capers, onions on a bed of arugula drizzled with olive oil, maybe a side of avocado. So right there, that's a medicinal meal. I'm giving you a meal. Sounds delicious too. Doesn't right. that sound good? Exactly. Yeah. And that's how, and it feels so good to eat it. So, and it's supporting, it's supporting your omega-3 production, your cell health. It's naturally anti-inflammatory, uh, supporting methylation and detoxification. So all of those things are combined. I think of the ways we, we detox, methylation, sulfation, and glucuronidase. You know, I'm going to get some technical, but that's like, I've done that work to simplify what does it look like to support your body naturally, to support your glandular production of hormones naturally. So in those 16 days, also with intermittent fasting and no more snacking, and then some, you know, sleep hacks, hydration hacks, and, and alkalinizing hacks. So for me, keto green is alkalinizing foods and practices in your diet, such as meditation, prayer, gratitude. Those are, those all increase oxytocin, the hormone of love and connection, and decrease the stress hormone cortisol, because we're running businesses, we have a lot of stress factors. 
And so also the tools to stay in the present moment and to have more pleasure and play in your life. So in the 16 day challenge, I address these components in a very, very simple way. And we have medical practices that offer it to groups. We have um, book clubs doing the Keto Green 16 challenge. And yeah, so it's been, it's been fun to kind of bring it down. What does it look like? How do we live a life that's supportive of our, our hormones naturally and supporting our health span so that it equals our lifespan? Right. I, what I love about it, it's just simple, right? Just do this, you get this, like here's step by step. So I'm a Xerox girl. Just tell me what I need to do. So that I, I love it. <laughs> um, so let's talk, let's shift just a little bit. What's been your biggest challenge in your personal life? So we talked about your business life and then your personal life that really had you, um, it could have been a failure. It could have been, you know, a, an obstacle. And then what'd you learn from it? Well, I think definitely being a single mom, single mm -hmm. mom has been my most um, significant challenge and probably most rewarding um, experience of my life. The challenges of being a single mom and the sole provider, the sole, you know, caregiver, the sole uh, financial provider, then there's a lot on my, there's a lot on my shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. There was a lot on my shoulders and that was really challenging. And what I recognized during, you know, especially in the midst of the, tra you know, that transition period was that when I was chaotic, unhealthy, exhausted, my girls were. But when right. I started shifting my energy to more positive, healthy, um, more focused and happier, my children were. Yeah. And so that for me, you know, recognizing and, and sharing this part of my story with my clients is, you know, has been has been hugely a huge blessing. Well, I think so many times we we're learned to compartmentalize. And the reality is I, I can't compartmentalize. I'm a mom first. Mm -hmm. right? That's the first before she, anything else shows up, I'll drop everything to go be with them. So I think there's that delusion that we talked about, you know, I learned early on as a business person is leave all your stuff at the door. Well, I can't leave it at the door. I don't want it to interfere, but I also, it's, I'm a whole person, not this segmented person that I can drop off, especially as a single parent, right? I, I feel, feel that with you raising kids by yourself. So um, what do you want to be remembered for? I think the first thing that came comes to mind when you say that is my generosity. I think that, you know, the generosity of the way I educate, the way I share um, information, the way, you know, I, I've created solutions for people, I would say it's generosity. And then if you could, um, if I, what's one question I should have asked you? Uh, one question you should have asked me, um, are, you know, and I think in the, from the business entrepreneurial world is like really what's, you know, I think about what created my success, what created my success in, in this business world. And I think it was identifying what solutions I needed that weren't available and creating them, not giving up on ourselves. Yeah. You just invented it and then did it, which yep. a lot of people have a hard time doing. So um, if you love this episode and you want to meet Dr. Anna, I want you to go to her website. It's in the show notes. Check out the 16 day challenge because I know that's been a game changer for so many people. I appreciate your generosity, and your time and your expertise and your you've got great bedside manner, right? You're like a, <laughs> you're like a real woman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love I love my patients. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing with us. And I look forward to supporting you again. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Power Your Profits podcast. Let these building blocks from today's most successful industry leaders equip you with the necessary resources and tools to finally establish the highly profitable business of your dreams. Want to hear more? Listen to more episodes at www.poweryourprofitspodcast.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the show. Now is your time to rise to the top of your game. So be sure to catch our next episode. Until next time.